The Olympic sport of shot put seems simple enough. A burly guy picks up a 16 pound iron ball, takes a whirl, and then heaves the thing as far as he can. Go! Go, baby! Impressive, but how hard can it be? I asked John Godina, a three-time world champion and two-time Olympic medalist, to teach me his art. Oh man, dude, this is like the heaviest thing I think I've ever held. It's a bowling ball. It's, a bowling it's, ball. Just, it's the same it's weight as a bowling small. ball. This 16 is 16 pounds, pounds, and I'm supposed to throw this 60 feet? You're supposed to throw it 72 <laughs> or 3 feet. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at me right now, how far do you think I can throw this? 20. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. All right, so that's the we'll goal, see. try to get me to throw this 20 yeah. feet. Godina now coaches at an organization he founded, the World right. Throws Center. Yeah, that's really he right. gave me some good news. Throwing is not just about raw upper body strength. Oh, what muscles? Or, uh, legs. What, what am I? Oh, I'm going to be sore in the legs tomorrow. Uh, quads, butt, calves. Your calves are going to be wrecked. Is it mostly lower body? Oh, yeah. He put me through some balance and agility leg drills against one of his old teammates, John Davis. He's a big guy with at least 100 pounds on me, so I thought this would be a cinch. After building up a sweat, it was time to gear up. You all right? I'm fine. No, this is good. pretty good there. We have shoes for you. This uh, will add a couple extra feet to my throw. Well, at least you won't break your ankle as easily. It turns out that shot putt is half ballet. These guys spend most of their time working on their footwork. Down and up. Godina broke down the spin into several steps, starting with the last move I'd have to do. It's a tricky move. I'd have to squat and then twist and explode under my calves. Up. Nice. I really came here today hoping to make fun of you, but that's really good. All right, thank okay. you. <laughs> After wrapping up my wrist and chalking up, I was ready to practice a standing throw. Elbow jacked high. Oh, not too bad. John Davis stepped back to put my modest successes in perspective. Then there was spinning. Finally, it was time to put everything together. Let's just throw this thing. I could barely hold the 16 pound ball upright, so Godina gave me the high school size, 12 pounds. Oh! <laughs> we know that as soon as you pick up a shot and try and throw it, you're gonna just go completely stupid on us like you're doing. No offense. You walked through it just fine, then you went to throw and changed everything, right? His old teammate, John Davis, threw it farther than I did about three times farther, with a heavier ball. As it turns out, it's hard to think about spinning correctly and then launching something that weighs as much as a bowling ball. I gave it a few more attempts. But I didn't do much better. Finally, Godina gave up on the spin technique and taught me something similar and simpler, the glide. With this technique, I was ready to go for my personal best. Where was it? 28.3. Unfortunately, that was with the eight pound ball, which is for middle schoolers. I was getting tired, so I lightened my load. How would you grade my prospects as a potential Olympic shot putt? Zero. What's a, you know, not at all. <laughs> now, that being said, you could always become a coach. <laughs> For the Wall Street Journal, this is Stu Wu in Lafayette, California.